Right now, reports of a decision over what some have called the Arizona gay exclusion law. And forget civil rights. The real motive here, it seems, has to deal with cold, hard cash. Why are states now so different on so many kinds of laws? And then, poll position. The public offers new grades for the two Hudson River governors. And the results, let's just say they could have been better, could have been worse. We will analyze. And later, pick a president. That may be the choice for Democrats as the midterm approaches. Would they rather have 44 with them on the campaign trail or 42? Good evening and welcome to RFL. I'm Richard French and thank you so much for joining us this Tuesday evening, February 25th. Let's start here with a developing story out of Arizona. A veto is now expected in that controversial gay exclusion bill. Several media outlets reporting that Republican Governor Jan Brewer will veto the bill. But it's not on the grounds of discrimination, they report, or that the bill is just plain wrong, as most believe. Brewer is reportedly worried about money, namely that the bill, if signed, could harm the state's economy. Next year's Super Bowl set for Glendale, Arizona, and both the NFL and the Arizona Cardinals, they vocally opposed the bill, as did Apple Computers. And both of the state's Republican U.S. Senators have said they're against it as well. Now that bill, if signed, it would have allowed businesses to cite religious beliefs as a reason not to serve gays and lesbians based solely on their sexual preferences. There's a lot to unpack on this one tonight, and to help us do that, we bring in our panel. Democratic political consultant Michael Tobin, Dominic Carter, political journalist and author, Republican strategist, and former vice chair for the National Black Republican Association, and on time with plenty of time to spare, Richard St. Paul, <laughs> and our senior political <laughs> correspondent, Sorry. Andrew Whitman. Inside, inside joke. Okay, and Andrew, to start this thing off here, let's be clear. This is about Arizona. But this conversation is happening in state houses and a whole bunch of other places, too. Yeah, it passed through one house of the Kansas state legislature not too long ago. It stalled out in the other one, but it's, similar measures are up for debate in Idaho and in Utah and I believe in Ohio, though I think the governor said that he would veto it there if it came up. Do the five of us agree that this is one of the stupidest things uh, we've ever heard? That literally, if two people want to have, uh, let's say, a... Uh, uh, they go to a bakery and they want a cake made for them. If they say, well, you two guys look like you could be gay, my religious objections say I don't have to serve you. Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg here. Do we agree that this is, forget about bad policy, this is just, you know, bad everything? Well, there's no doubt that this is not only uh, bad business, literally bad for business, but it's also bad politics as a Republican and we're looking for the brand of the Republican name and this is being pushed by Republican legislators. It's just as bad towards the overall image of what the Republican Party stands for. The Republican Party does not stand for discrimination. The then history why, of the Republican Party the talks about up? knocking down the, the barriers to discrimination. Why do so many Republican legislatures keep bringing up these kinds of bills or bills that put the party in similarly bad situations? You know, I, I don't. I think they, they, they can't separate what they should be doing legislatively versus what they should do morally. And certainly, you, you can't mix your church politics with your uh, with your legislative yeah, politics. I, I think this is a consequence also of our, of our modern media environment and the fact that those opposed to these ridiculous, yep. wrong on every level bills um, are so mobilized and so savvy and so media savvy. Um, there are bad bills that come up all the time in states throughout the country. But these um, things pass, Michael. I mean, it's not just one the opposition party does to them some Looney Tune idea. This thing made it through the, both chambers of the legislature. The, the opposition to bills like this has ways to get John Stewart um, talking about it, and it's on CNN, and it's on Fox, and it's on Richard French Live, uh, where other bills, bad or controversial, don't make it into the sort of mainstream media firmament. But I think Elliot Spitzer once said of someone who criticized them, you're, you're, you're morally wrong, you're ethically <laughs> wrong, you're legally wrong. It is rare to find a piece of legislation wrong on so many levels. And this is where people on the left, people in the LGBT community, advocates could say, you know what? God bless. Let the market handle this as well. You do this, you're out of business. And on the John Stewart show, he said, first of all, uh, they had a clerk at Costco saying, well, if I want to decide not to serve, uh, uh, make a wedding cake for a gay couple, and he said, S I'll stop you right there. What gay marriage would have a <laughs> wedding cake from Costco? Uh, <laughs> once you hit that point, it, it's, it, yeah. the whole thing is ridiculous. Well, and but again, that this isn't just is about gays. Right. If they said that they have an objection uh, for Mormons, mm -hmm. oh, you saw people across the spectrum saying, hold on a second. It's like, first they came for the, you know how the story goes. Everybody starts saying, what is that? What if it's not just gays they got a problem with? 
What if it's blacks? Yeah. What if it's Asians? Yeah. What if it's, you know, people of different faiths other than my own? What, what, what where, about where, them? Where do you stop? You know, Winston Churchill said something great. Uh, he says, uh, democracy is the worst form of government except for all the others, <laughs> which is at least we get to debate this issue and tell people how wrong yeah. it is and make a difference. And Whereas in Russia, Republic. Russia, you know, and and gay is, being gay is outlawed. There's no, there's no right. democracy there. Mainstream Republicans, yeah. mainstream Republicans see an opportunity to chastise and criticize on a swing issue, on a divisive issue, um, something that their own colleagues are, are advancing. You know, Dominic, though, this morning we're talking about uh, the subject, and it's one of those, all right, after a while we're all going to agree that it's a stupid idea. Mm -hmm. But why this became such an interesting subject for me is, let's think of it the last few years. Talk about guns. Some states, guys walking around with an assault weapon in broad daylight. It's Ari legal. Arizona. Okay, thank you. You go to Florida here. Look at all the stories we got where guys can legally pack heat in movie theaters, okay? Yet you go in New York, it's a completely different law. You go in, you know, you fill in the state, you understand. We talk about voting rights. In some places, you guys are going to have a harder time than I am, okay? My point is, so many things in this country, the issue of choice, the issue, I can go up and down the line here, it's become... Well, where do you live? Where's the boundary start and stop of the country? It's not like we used to debate, what was it, Andrew? Like, when, what, when you can drive, and when you can, when you can drink, licenses. you know, what is the speed limit? That used to be the extent of the debates on a state-by-state -state level. It's gotten nuts lately. Like, different states want to basically be their own country. Well, I'm not surprised, Richard, at all by this, because we have had a number of officials around the country say the states should have the right to govern themselves, and this is the result of this. Uh, all politics are local, and I know we say that all the time, but that is the bottom line. What plays in, in Mississippi, we may think it's ridiculous, they may love it down there. And, or, or pick any state, Idaho, in New Jersey, any state. And I think we're going to continue to see this type of situation. Think about the debate we're having. States are talking about gay marriage here, and it's getting pushed along. Then you get states like Arizona, where, let's be honest, the governor is going to veto this in all likelihood because she don't want to lose the Super Bowl, okay? Not because she thinks this is abhorrent. And they're trying to make it where they can now not serve them, like we're going back to the 60s, right? Or in the 50s, excuse me. It's, it's upside down what we're having these debates. Yeah, it, it, government is, and we were, we've been paying so much attention to Washington, government shutdowns, uh, the default, uh, the, the, the debt limit, the ACA, but government isn't just top down, it's also bottom up. It's local legislators who are very, very local, in some cases representing safe seats for one party or another in primaries where they're winning with 3,000 votes or 4,000 votes, and they're impacting the yep. national discussion. Are the localities more polarized or are the local governments more polarized? Is it is it that the Arizona government's more polarized like Washington is, or is it that Arizona's just lots of conservatives and no liberals? Probably oh. it's the state, the state composition and the demographics and, and their thinking and their church groups and their issues around well, border security do sort of this. Yeah. the idea yeah, of the government like the same back, time you, you know? have McCain who I would consider a moderate Republican who's sure. elected statewide and, and still very popular and you know nobody's challenged him so but yeah I think it's you know, all politics are local when you're the US senator people mm -hmm. are looking at different issues when you when you represent me locally then I, I need you to be closer to, to my value system um, so that you know and remember what they did what on the King holiday so yeah that's right. Arizona. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. But local legislators represent local areas, and right. McCain could count on urban settings. He could just run up the numbers on his votes. And there. that decision right. cost them millions. Millions. Mm -hmm. so. All right. We jump to a break. When we come back, we will get into local politics. Two polls out here. One about how Governor Christie is thought of in his home state of New Jersey and how Governor Cuomo will fare against any opponent in his race for re-election for governor. We'll break down the numbers and more after this.